Well, 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 we're back again. We're doing the same thing. We're doing a shave today. Back in the old saddle. Hopefully you like the uh, watch gang. We're going to do another one next month, see what happens with it. Uh, it's fun. But today's review, as you saw from the opening credits, Uncle John's Barbershop. So this is a, I won't say classic, because it's got a little citrus. So the scent, the sniffer's not working so well today. So the scent, you've got your powders, you got your talc, you got your burnigat, leather. It is, a, it is a barbershop, but there's a hint. No, maybe it's not citrus. Maybe it is just the talc. Anyways, good scent. Smell alone, definitely worth picking up. So the soap comes in a four ounce tub. The tub comes with room to lather. So just lather in the tub. Scent, great. Um, it's probably my number two or three. So my top barbershop scent is Sterling, because I like the heavy towel. This and CAD, I'm in a toss up between two and three. But yeah, it's good, I love it. Um, so you get a four ounce tub, $16, about on point with what everybody else is charging. We'll be finishing it off with the aftershave. Ooh, oh, there you go, you don't need to see my face. Um, again, so, the, this is a towel base, so vegan friends, sorry, out of luck. Aftershave, so one of the things that caught my eye on this was polysorbate 80. So I work in the sterile injectables pharmaceutical world. We use polysorbate 80, so I know it's safe. But I don't know why it's an aftershave. I don't know if it's a thickening agent to help thicken it up, but if you don't shake this up, You'll see it'll separate, this will become clear, and then you'll see like a brown film. It's okay, it's just, it's separating out over time. So give it a good shake, and you're back at it. If you know why he's using polysorbate 80, put it in the comments below. My guess is it's a thickening agent for the solution. All right, anyways, blah, blah, blah. We will be taking it off with, oh, that doesn't look good. Let me make that shine up so it's pretty. Better. Mercur 37C, so it's the slant, C is in chrome. The blade in there, oh, I'm going to butcher this, is Lattice, Lattice, I don't know, I don't speak that, that fancy foreign language. Do not white blade. They had to put it on there for a reason. Here's your sign. Uh, we'll be using the whip up the lather is brush I've had for a while now. It's a satin tip, the purest. It's a synthetic brush, soft, it's under 20 bucks. And it, you'll see, it'll make up an awesome lather. So good thing with synthetics is I don't have to pre-soak this. I'm gonna go ahead and wet it, start the lather, and we'll see where we go from there. Stay tuned. So I, this is my second Uncle John soap. First one is the pipe smoke, and it's freaking awesome. So this one again, just like that one, lathers quick. Probably shouldn't be wearing a black shirt, but oh, look at that line. that's some lather. We'll see where it goes. I'm not going to use any pre-shave. I do have the cube. I use occasionally, but. It's more of a lather booster, I think. I don't know if it actually gives me a, a pre-shaped slickness. All right, I'm going to wet the whiskers, lather up, see how the first lather goes. So as I'm lathering, the scent is really coming alive. Yeah, there's definitely odd notes of leather, old leather, not new leather. Some talc, some normal spices and scents, maybe even a little bay rum scents in there. I'm not sure what those are, but it's definitely, it's probably that burn again. It's definitely something that you would get at a barber shop. 
and I'm just getting lather everywhere. Uh, so I'm going to be taking off two days worth of growth. Lather is phenomenal. Plenty of cushion. We'll see how the slickness goes. Alright, I'm going to shut up and shave. Bird poop. Alright, let me shut up and shave and see where this goes. First pass in the books. Oh, mustaches everywhere. So performed, performed, performed. Oh, chicken in the pit. So performed exceptionally. I'm not sure about that blade. Give it a couple more passes, but it's still the residual slickness is good. I would definitely give this a good thumbs up. Plenty of cushion, soap didn't dissipate, so that's always good. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just roll on and try to save some time and get you guys on with your day. Really knocking them down doing this job. So the scent strength, probably a uh, seven. Ten would be like I could probably wear this as cologne without anything. So it's it's good. It's not overpowering. It's there. It's where it needs to be. Um, about on par with pipe smoke. Second pass really took care of a lot of the whiskers. This against the grain will probably knock it all the way down. Good soap. All right, final thoughts. So the soap worked great. The razor, it's a little aggressive. May have nicked myself once or twice. A little styptic. Pin action. So I don't have a lot of experience with that blade. I do know the slant razors are a little aggressive, i.e. that's why I cut myself. Just nicks, not, not even a cut. Lather left over in the brush. I mean, that's the way I like to see it. So, good cushion, good slickness, good scent strength. Overall, a great soap to use. Let's throw on all the old. I don't know why you guys keep coming back, but I'm really curious about the ply four bay. Now the aftershave is a little, almost a smoky note to it. Not like, I like bonfire, but like just a hint of smoke. It's good. It's a, it's a nice little touch. It makes you an old timey barbershop. Back when men were men, and we're allowed to say things like back when men were men, because today you can't say it. All in all, great. Yeah, no, I like that aftershave. Great shave today. Good stuff, Uncle John's. 
performs as usual. If you don't have it, pick it up. Uh, I keep forgetting to tell everybody what I do is in the links and the comments below, I'll put what I'm using, a link to it, a brief description from the vendor on the scent uh, where it's at. So I always prefer, if you can buy it from the vendor, I always buy it straight from the vendor. That way we know the money all goes straight to them. But yeah, other than that, I think next week I may have some sterling soaps to check out. I think I've got four samples. I've also got some really old samples I haven't even touched yet that I'll probably get to that. One might be Prohibition style. We'll see what I get to next week. But till then, everybody out there, stay sharp, stay safe.